Hi, Jess here from nigessa.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. And I'm today I'm bringing you um, my card that I'm going to be entered into the Stamping for All uh, Design Team Challenge this week. So uh, this is my prototype. Um, and the Design Team Challenge is a die cut DSP and a ribbon. Now that's not ribbon. I'm going to put ribbon on the real thing. But I was just playing with this stamp here. And... This is the best bunny. And when I saw this on on stage and I saw these little bunny faces, I thought, oh, I wonder if they'll fit the cat punch. Oh, well, they do. And um, that's why I bought it, basically, was I wanted the cat punch. There are other elements in that that I will use. Um, I may even do some bunnies at Easter. Um, but it was mainly for the faces and I thought the bow tail was quite cute um, on the bunny as well. Um, so this is the inspiration for this card and I have quite a few crazy cat lady friends so um, I am definitely going to be uh, using this so I'm using extra thick whisper white so just standard sheet cut in half scored in half and folded um, I've got a bit of DSP this one is uh, from a retired <coughs> excuse me a retired set and this is the lovely um, Garden Impressions DSP so it's three inches deep I've cut it slightly wider than the card I'll trim it off when it's when it's on there I've already die cut so this is from the layering um, ovals and it fits beautifully the largest um, stitched oval and I thought that was cute and it does fit the cat beautifully I'm going to do uh, the hello from Varied Vases, that's the thanks from Varied Vases, but I'm going to do the hello because I'm going to send this to uh, my crazy cat lady friend, of which I have many, but this one is going to a particular one, um, just to cheer her up, make a laugh, that was my thoughts. Okay, so first thing I want to do is um, stamp, Oop. stamp my, my cat's face. Now you can because um, it's photopolymer you can punch out the cat and um, and and then and then stamp it or you can stamp it and then punch it I'm gonna punch it and then stamp it um, so I'm using this is basic gray um, so I might oh that's a bit mucky there um, so I'm just gonna cut my cat out There we go, and my punch, the stamp's already, you've got three expressions to choose from, which I love, so you've got just ordinary cat, you've got a cat sticking its tongue out, and you've got a cat winking, and I'm doing cat winking, that was cat with that's like smiling with his tongue out, um, so I'll do something different on this one, you can of course have the cat going the other way, So I'm just taking it up there in a bit of memento and then looking over to place it on there. Fabulous. And then I'm going to, oh, I didn't mount it, um, get the little bow tie. It's really easy to cut out because um, it's just basically straight lines. Um, I've got a little scrap of um, clips of coral. Good way to use up your little scraps. So I'm just going to do it on that little bit there. Grand. And then I can cut that out. So with my snips, it is quite simply done. So I'm just slight curve there. Slight curve on that side. And then I just went straight down each side to the bows. And then got my 
the scissors in and went up there. So that can pull out. There we go, and the same on this side. There we go, and I might do a little bit of tidying up there on the corners. And that's the little bow done. My mate's cats are both male, so a bow tie. But if it was a girly cat, you could have it as a ribbon in the hair. In the hair. If you know what I mean. On the head, like so. Okay, get rid of them bits. Right, so that's... Uh, uh, oh, the other thing is stamp me sentiment. Uh, and that's me glue gone. It's a good job there's a windowsill down here and it hasn't just gone down the back of the cupboard. Never done that yet. Let's hope I never do that again. Certainly not with, say, a punch as I might just break my window. That would not be good. So I'm just going to stamp hello. did that without me stamp that, but there, I've got quite a lot of paper here, so it actually is nicely cushioned. And like this one, with it being a small um, word, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to take... Uh, scrap that's just lying around and I'm just going to put a bit of snail on there take some of the tackiness off so that I can hold on to it and then feed that back in and then get it to where I want it punch that's how I do it that little bit then will just come off and then out of my scrap of clips of coral do that so that it will stick on like that like it right glue bit of Tombow there, glue that on, there we go, so that's my sentiment, uh, these two are going to glue together, I think that gives it such a lovely border of not long had these layering ovals but I love them love 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 um, right so let's stick the DSP down before we stick the DSP down I got the ribbon now I'm using some retired um, ribbon this was a celebration I don't know how many years ago it was the first my first um, order I think from stamping up um, was during celebration, I don't know how many years ago, and you got a set of three ribbons. Um, you got a yellow one, I can't remember the colour, I think it was an ink colour. Um, and you got the um, clips of coral, and you got, um, oh, one of the new returning ones, um, um, Coaster Cabana, I think. They were the, they were the three colours, so I got some of this left. So... As you can see, not very much. So I'm just going to um, glue it. Oh, no, I can't glue it to the ribbon because I haven't cut it to the right size. Oh, that's a plan gone out the window, isn't it? I'm going to have to cut this to the right size. we got no option because of the way I'm doing it. There we go. I love it when I change my plan on camera. So this is all marked up. 
that is the width of my card, four and an eighth. Obviously, if your card bases are a different size, if you're in America, then you cut it to whatever size fits your card bases. But as a four and a quarter, and so I've made that three inches long, so it fits perfectly. And I'm going to glue this to that so that comes round the other end. So I'm just going to snip a bit of this ribbon off. Save that. I'm sure I can find a use for that. Right. And I'm going to have that right at the top. I'm going to get a bit of double-sided tape to tape it down. Still don't know where my tearing tape is. I'm making this seem a lot harder than it actually is. I'm good at doing that sometimes. There we go. It's because I got it to the edge. It's slightly more problematic. Could have used a glue dot, I guess, but I didn't want it sticking up any. Sometimes glue dots do a tad. There we go. Stick that down like that. And that's in the nice place. It's gonna gonna get covered with the oval, so that will hold it down. Once it's stuck in place, bit of Tombow. Adhere it. Line it up at the bottom and then the rest should fall into place. There we go. And I say that's going to hold it down. I might just put a bit of double sided sticky on there because you're not going to see it just to give it double double stick there pull them off Gives you a little bit of extra stick for the ovals as well. There we go. Put a bit of Tombow now on the back of this. Centre it. Get some mini dimensionals for the sentiment. Oh, that just took the lid off. There we go. Like to do three. Just want a little 
I might do a blue dot for the bow. That blue dot looks like it's previously stuck with something. Fold my glue dot over. some dimensionals on the back of my kitty on the one on his head one in the middle and then I just cut a thin slither his tail Okay. Oh, that's my pokey tool. It's hanging in there. I'll get that in a sec. And there we have it. The two little cat cards. One saying hello, one saying thanks. So there we go. All the details will be on my blog, nigesa.co. UK and if you pop over for Stamping for All and you can see what other people have done and you might want to join in. Okay, all the details on my blog, link down below. See you again soon. Bye-bye.